Hey, we're currently having a storm. The uh, winds are, I don't know, between 15 and 25 miles an hour. That is the lens turbine on the MAN Smart Drive alternator. Going through my, uh, my new controller board. This is a remake of the one that I had in the last video. And going to the software. The board can run by itself, but the software monitors it. Let's go and get a wider picture. The uh, chart on the right there is power versus input voltage. And in this wind, I've gotten as high as 150 watts input power. Uh, right now, I'm not getting a lot of output power from the board. I'm not quite sure what limit I'm up against, or if I burnt out a transistor, I'll have to check that out. Or I just changed the software, maybe I have a bug in my monitoring software. But anyway, the, right now the turbine's only putting in 20 watts. It is slowing down out there. When the wind kicks up, it really puts out the power. I have it updating the display every five seconds, but it's averaging samples every 100 milliseconds. I'm just hoping the turbine doesn't get hit by lightning. I'm not sure my board would take that. Okay, there's my... I have those two light bulbs in series with the uh, 12 volts RV battery, and so that's 100 watts of lights plus charging the RV battery. So that's putting out some fairly serious power, and uh, they are getting close to full brightness. Now, the highest current we're pulling when doing this is a little less than an amp. It's mostly voltage coming in. Uh, almost up to 200 volts. So 200 volts times 1 amp is about 200 watts. So anyway, that's what it's doing.